Hello everybody. Welcome to Virtual Farm Friends at Hancock Shaker Village. Like many farmers, Farmer Billy had something he had to take care of at the last minute, so he'll be here soon to talk with you about calves. But in the meantime, this is Jennifer Trainer Thompson, director, giving you a little update on the other animals. Baby lambs are doing really well. They're growing every single week. They enjoy that heat lamp a lot on these cold days, especially this coming weekend when it's supposed to snow. But they're also getting a little playful. This one's taking a nap. But Mama is busy eating, eating her hay. She's hungry. Hello. Say hi to everybody. And over here, we have a baby lamb licking the salt lick. We get salt, probably too much salt, in our diet, but animals have no way of getting salt in their diet unless we give them salt licks. And it's really important for them to stay healthy. So you'll see this little baby lamb is licking away. And while her brother or cousin is sitting here resting comfortably. And these two little guys are practicing who's in charge. Did you see them knocking their, their heads together for a minute? Well, this baby is busy nursing. Oop, although mama has something else in mind. <laughs> Meanwhile, life in the barn is quiet. Here's our black sheep checking it all out. Well, the babies are just tending to themselves. And lo and behold, the chickens have been busy. They've been laying eggs everywhere. We had a big surprise yesterday. We had a mother goat. We didn't know she was pregnant. And suddenly, Allie, our livestock manager, came in yesterday morning, and there was a little baby a little baby goat. And mama and baby are doing really well. Here's the baby nuzzling up next to her mother. It's a first time mother and she's being very good to her baby. And Allie made her, you can see it perhaps, made her this little fleece sweater. Really on these spring nights in the barn. But the baby is nestling nicely next to her mother. And yesterday when I came in, the father, who was also a first time father, was in the next pen and was reaching through these bars to nuzzle with the baby. And the, the baby was nuzzling back with the father. Now this goat over here is very curious. These guys are just wondering what the heck I'm doing and why the heck I haven't started goat yoga yet because goat yoga is so much fun. Say hello, oh yeah, yeah, there you go, yeah. Oh, oh, she's gonna try very hard to get my camera. We're gonna go down and see how the other animals are doing. Our pigs have not had their babies yet. We're really into Here's one mother goat snuggling with her twin. It's morning nap time here, you can tell. Very, very quiet. And here's another goat snuggling with her baby. Our two calves who are very, oh, you guys are curious, huh? What do you wanna know? Do you wanna say hello? Say hello? Yeah, say hello to your audience. Yeah, they're missing you. Our two calves, at this point, they're still babies. They're very, very affectionate. They weigh about 100 pounds each, if you can imagine. Do you want to come up? You want to come up? So over here are our pigs. And once we look at the pigs, then Farmer Billy's gonna start with a lesson about the calves. 
Everybody is lazy this morning. Look at this. And this mama, oh my goodness, she's very close. You can see, <laughs> she, she looks like somebody who's very pregnant and just wants to give birth. Billy thinks it's about two more weeks, so that's gonna be an exciting thing that we're gonna have in late May. And here, Billy, to talk about the calves. Hi, folks. How you doing, kids? Good to talk to you again. You know, I wanna start by thanking you kids uh, for watching, all the comments that you're sending in. Everything is great. I'm sorry I'm a little late. I've been doing a lot of different things here lately. But uh, I just, it's very humbling for all the, the notes I'm getting and texts and things. So uh, thank you so much. Today we're gonna do calves. We have two beautiful calves here. And I'm gonna talk about everything about the calves and hopefully you can learn things. If you have questions, please let me know. Next week we'll be doing poultry. I'm gonna have uh, Allison do that with you. She'll do it with me. I think you'll uh, really find that entertaining as well. So, let's start with our calves. So, these are our little guys. Star and Cloud. One's about two months old. One's about oh, a little over a month. They're dairy calves. They're crossed, they're older breeds, the old heritage breeds. They're crossed with a uh, brown swift and shorthorn. But they're mostly like brown Swiss and um, maybe even a touch of Jersey, you know. They're a little bit different things, I guess. So this is Star. She's a beautiful star right here. And this is Cloud. Now we become their moms because the cow has, we developed cows over the years to give a lot of milk because we need the milk. These babies it can only drink so much milk. So at some point, <laughs> they, we have to start taking care of them. And what we do is we milk the mom and then we give them their milk. Or a dairy farmer milks the mom and gives them the milk. A dairy cow will give, oh, five, six, seven, eight gallons. 80, 90 pounds a day sometimes. So this calf couldn't eat that much. So the cow had to go into production. And once uh, after about three or four days after their we take them and we become, they become our friendly little guys. You're just so canario. I want to show you everybody how beautiful you are. You don't like the bottle tip, huh? Uh, you can see it's not easy being a farmer. <laughs> uh, never is. So we've learned them to lead. Allison actually has. She hasn't done a with these little guys. Um, they get a lot of love and attention. They were just out running all around. I saw them chasing chickens this morning. So like I was telling you, they nurse on the mom just like I was sh showing you like they're nursing on my fingers. And this would be the mom's udders. And that's where they get their milk. They get a in the morning, a gallon in the afternoon. And pretty soon we'll start working them off. They're already eating grain and hay. And they're about, oh, 125, probably 100 pounds. And when they were born, they were probably about 80, 70 pounds. And this one was a little bigger. They'll get to be about 13, 1400 pounds. These are little girls, little heifers. And they'll be going to a dairy farm at some point. Uh, the we use them for breeding, or anybody would use them for breeding, and they get about 2,000 pounds. They can get a little aggressive. You have to watch a bull. Everybody understands that. Uh, you don't get a second chance, that's for sure. <laughs> I can tell you, I had a second chance, but you don't get them often. So what we have done is right now, the natural way how they would drink milk, but what we do is, after a few days, it takes a while to let them suck down a whole gallon of milk like this. So a little quicker way, and they have to learn to drink it, we take, get them sucking on their finger like so. And once they get sucking on their finger, we turn our hands, because the natural instinct is always to go up, up to the udder. 
But if you turn your hand around, now they have to go down. And slightly we get them drinking in the water or milk, and then you just pull your hand out and they know how to drink after a few times. <laughs> Can you see that? Yeah. Come on, baby. Yeah, that doesn't taste like milk, that's why. So little by little, you bake the water a little milky, you little mix it half and half, and you it, the milk replacer off. And they seem like they're hungry, but it's just like a little baby uh, sucking on a pacifier. It makes them very, very comfortable. And with, their, with the mom, they nurse probably every three or four hours, five hours. And at the beginning, when a calf is born, and any animal, and I stress this all the time, they have to get that cholesterol, cholesterol, cholesterol from the mom. And that changes after about, oh, eight to 12 hours. Uh, what happens is the normal milk comes in, and that colostrum has all the antibodies that the mother has uh, developed and that's passed on to the baby, so that's very important. You know, there's two things I love, folks. Kids, some days I don't want to see either one, but I'm missing all you kids right now. Now, a cow has four stomachs. They'll eat, once these guys get on roughage, they have to start chewing their cud. Once they chew, uh, get chewing their cud and their rumen is working, they'll eat food and they don't chew it all up really, really good at first. But they just, that's an instinct just to get it all down because uh, like an instinct if a deer would run out of a field, grab a few mouthfuls, go back into the uh, head grow so nobody sees it. But once they start, their rumen starts working and they start chewing their cud, you'll see them regurgitate it up. I know it doesn't sound good, but it comes up and you'll actually see a whole ball come up and a cow will sit there contently and chew her cud. And uh, once she chews it, it'll go back down to the next stomach. And then it comes back up and it goes to the third and it's just a processing. It's just processing all the way through. Now, I, any questions, please let Billy know, or Farmer Billy, as you guys know, and I hope you see me next week, and again, I'm missing all of you. Next week, we'll be doing poultry. Allison will be doing it with us, and I think you'll enjoy that as well. Take care. Bye.